Alright guys, welcome to this quick demo of the new Split Test Monkey web app. Now I really wanted to push this software to the limit to see exactly what it's capable of and whether it's as cool as everybody says it is. So I'm actually going to see not only what it can do, but also how quick and easy it is to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and start my timer in a second here, and what we're going to do is we're going to see how long it takes to do a standard split URL test. We're going to be testing between this landing page, variation A, and this landing page, variation B. I'm going to come over here to the dashboard, I'm going to hit start on my clock, and we're going to go to create new split URL test. We'll give it a name, we'll call it my split URL test. We're going to leave test type at auto optimizer, that's my favorite because split test monkey handles everything for you, but you can learn about the other two versions right up here in the help section. Now, there's no winner yet, we're going to leave it at minimum 100 conversions before a winner is chosen, minimum 14 days, we'll let it run that long, 95% confidence. This little field here allows you to actually um, calculate the financial values of your test results, so let's say that each conversion for you is 10 bucks, you could put that in here or something like that. Seems pretty cool, it's just optional in-house kind of stuff, I'm going to leave that blank for our purposes. We're going to go over here, we're going to put the variation A URL as our override URL in case the uh, test is not running at any given time. Come over here, URL 1, same URL, variation A. URL 2 is going to be variation B. We could add more URLs with this button here. I'm satisfied with a test between these two right now though, so we're going to go ahead and hit Save and Publish. And this is the URL we're going to be actually sending traffic to. This is the URL that we're going to actually use to test. So we're going to come on over here to the Thank You page. We're going to come over here in the body, we're going to paste that little tiny snippet right into the body of our code, simple as control V. I'm going to go ahead and hit stop on the stopwatch. We are at 1 minute and 19 seconds. Pretty cool, okay? Most of you guys are probably thinking that was super cool, and it was pretty cool, but I want to push this software even further and see what else we can accomplish in that same amount of time. So, what if I'm not testing a landing page? What if I want to test an individual element, like maybe a banner image on the home page of my blog? Well, luckily, Split Test Monkey allows you to do that as well with a feature called Dynamic A-B Split Testing, or Dynamic A-B Testing. So, let's find out how cool Split Test Monkey really is. I'm going to set up a test between this banner ad on my blog right here and this banner ad, which is a little bit different. Okay, so we're going to come on over here to the dashboard. We're going to X out of this. We're going to come to Create New. I'm going to start the stopwatch once again right now, and we'll go to Create New A-B Dynamic Test. We're going to give it a name. We'll go with My A-B Test. Auto-optimize again. No winner yet. 100 conversions. 14 days. 95%. We'll leave the conversion values blank once again. Now, I happen to have my element code snippet right here. If you guys are ever concerned about code snippets, if code makes you uh, uncomfortable at all, trust me, they call it Split Test Monkey for a reason. It's so easy a monkey could do it, okay? If you ever have any trouble with codes like this, it's surprisingly easy, but go ahead and come up here to the help section and the Split Test Monkey team will get you sorted out in no time. So we're going to use that same override element as element number one, and in element number two, I happen to know offhand that the only difference between the image file name is that there's a two at the end, so I'm going to change that. We're good. We could add more elements with this Add More button. I don't need to. I'm satisfied with the test between these two, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Save and Publish. Okay, Element Snippet Code. We're going to go ahead and replace that banner image on my blog page here with this little snippet with an HTML uh, shortcode widget. Okay, the next thing we need to do is grab this conversion snippet, and we're going to come on over here to the landing page, okay? Now this is where it all comes together. Does this landing page look familiar? Yep, that's where the banner ad leads to. We're going to come over here, we're going to add it to the body, we're going to hit done, I'm going to stop the stopwatch, and boom. 1 minute, 27 seconds. That is pretty incredible. Guys, that's about the same amount of time as the first test we set up. Hopefully you're beginning to see the value of this, okay? We just used Split Test Monkey to optimize both a banner ad and the landing page that it sends traffic to. This kind of testing can be one of the most impactful things you do for your business, and you saw it yourself. We did it all in a matter of seconds right here with Split Test Monkey. Now that is cool.